Good Monday afternoon to you. It's 14th of December 2020. So my 14th Flockmas to share with you. And now I am sitting in my living room because also I am alone. So I feel freer to sit here and take my time talking to you. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone is just doing well, all right? Anyway, um, okay, today I just wanted to share with you stories about the pros and cons of Christmas celebration in the countries that I have lived in for some time. So, originally, naturally, I am from Indonesia. So in Indonesia, when we celebrate Christmas, it's actually the same as in any other countries and that is with the family, especially. Not so much with friends, but friends could come over if they so desire, okay? And uh, that's Indonesia and normally we have food buffet style or a la buffet not sitting dinner or sitting luncheon like in italy so that's one difference the pros that's what i like the cons is it is hot <laughs> so i never really felt like christmasy unless it rains on that day then yes it gives me that kind of a, a you know impression rather cool area cool as in cold in temperature okay so that's one pros and cons of indonesian celebration of christmas or indonesia's second i lived in england in england since i was a little girl so it wasn't like a, a, for me to share with you how i celebrate as a couple because i was with my family and the same tradition like in indonesia with family or close friends who come over and then we would have just a buffet if it's a modern let's say four people otherwise we could have a sitting dinner but it's not like properly designed or prepared like a christmas dinner so that's in england with my family then in singapore that was with my german husband that was very very lovely we had a beautiful apartment beautiful in that standard of that period so uh yes it my daughter and i we would make the christmas tree and then actually we made our own traditional custom and that is to open the christmas presents on christmas eve not on christmas day or not on boxing day on the 26th so that made it more exciting because then after the dinner i would prepare a proper traditional international dinner christmas dinner that is english or or, or american because at that time i didn't know any italian tradition yet so yes i have beautiful photos of us in that holiday season in singapore and we would go for new year's eve maybe i should save this story for another uh, vlog but uh yes we would go to the five star hotels restaurants which is so typical in asia i don't know about today how it is whether it has changed but at that time in my time it was always to the five star hotels restaurant so that was fantastic and i also love the presents from my ex-husband he always gave me such precious precious presents i loved it okay then move to uh italy now my husband's tradition is different again we we don't have the tradition of having people coming over to our place instead just he and i would celebrate christmas eve together and of course i made it a tradition that we would open presents on christmas eve and uh, yes uh, we would have 
the typical Italian traditional Christmas uh, food of crabs and prawns and shrimps and fish for Christmas also did lunch but the tradition is most of the time we would go to his sister's house for the lunch on Christmas Day and then we would just uh, you know enjoy our meal together for as long as three four hours from let's say 12 o'clock we would come to the place and then until three o'clock we would just be sitting there and chatting and talking and uh, just relaxing and then maybe around four o'clock we would go out for a stroll we would go out to an area just to take a walk and then it's up to us if we were still hungry we could always go back to the sister's house and continue on with the dinner but most of the time we didn't continue like that we would just go home because we were too full to uh, go back to uh, the sister's house again so that is the Italian way then we lived in uh, the, oh I forgot the cons the cons in Singapore let's go back to back up to uh, Singapore the cons in Singapore is Singapore is a small city you know you don't know where to go after that that's all you know it's not like you can go for a drive in the countryside or you can have a wild party um, not exactly so that was the cons of Singapore and it's hot but in Singapore at least air condition is everywhere also in Jakarta today but still you know it's it, Jakarta is a city of yeah the population is 20 million people I think so um yeah so that is the singapore the cons of italy is i didn't feel the celebration with the restaurants or because people go to the restaurants but they don't celebrate like in asia for example uh once we went to to a restaurant because my sister-in-law wasn't in Milan they had a house in Sicily they had a house in the also south near Rome so they would go and spend there the holidays so sometimes we ended up just the two of us alone so we would go to the restaurant but there's no uh, ambience of festivities in the restaurant itself you know it's uh, maybe today it's different but at that time it was cars with the decorations there was no jingle bell music at that time in the restaurant or live music or even in the supermarket you know you don't hear the christmas songs in italy ironically enough uh, that was the cons that i didn't really enjoy now then in saudi arabia saudi arabia because my husband worked there as an engineer as an expatriate so he worked together with the turkish people with the uh, arab people with the british people so we were placed in a compound in an american compound there were several uh, expatriates compounds with beautiful beautiful house like as if we were living in america with nice big white road with beautiful bright lights in the night so then we would have a party at the pool of any of that complex uh, the housing complex and then uh, we there were Argentinians there were Italians there were British there were Americans so it was a lot of fun that we would have like Argentinian steak barbecue at the pool things like that you know we made do with whatever we could even though we were not allowed to have alcohol so that was the pros that we enjoyed but we were not allowed to celebrate christmas in the house we were not allowed to have christmas oh no we did have christmas tree in the house that's okay but we were not allowed to have people you know coming to the house and celebrating christmas i remember so those are the pros and the cons of the four countries that i could remember enjoying myself on christmas days okay not only day but the christmas days 
and yeah they were really really pleasant really delightful really very very nice with a variety of different climate some place is really hot some place is hot and dry some places is is uh, uh, snowy and dark like the second time my husband and i went to england and lived in north side of england that was different again but it was so beautiful because oh my god the snow the 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 houses they were beautiful in that part of the of england as well and uh i remember we were uh, caught up in the street by the snow coming back from the supermarket for our christmas celebration at home oh no we went to the pub to a special pub for the christmas celebration that was really nice the food was a bit insipid for us but the people were nice we were dancing and then my husband didn't like to dance so one of those ladies you know not even guys ladies the english ladies dragged me that's one thing i love about british people it's so free but nice at the same time very sweet but nice and she just dragged me from the table and said come on let's dance let's dance so i danced with them because i love dancing so i danced with them but and my husband just sitting there you know i don't remember if he was already smoking uh, already stopped smoking no maybe he stopped smoking already yes he stopped smoking already so so yeah he would just sit there watch and then maybe a guy would come and just have a chat with him but i was dancing with the ladies oh it was so fun those are the kind of things that i like that i enjoyed in england whereas in italy we didn't have such a free spirited kind of uh, atmosphere you know where we could just you know grab anybody and let's have fun oh, no in italy people are more conformist people are more shy but also very provincial in some ways so that's that's the difference of all these pros and cons of christmas holidays in the each country that i could remember even though yes we had it also in thailand we also had it in south korea we also had it in where malaysia no malaysia christmas we didn't have malaysia we didn't have christmas in malaysia yeah and in italy wherever else yeah i don't remember now <laughs> okay so those are the countries okay for the pros and the cons of christmas holidays that i have experienced hope you enjoyed these little tidbits of fun informations of part of my life thank you guys hope you enjoy yourself and uh, whatever you do make it fun even though hot like me <laughs> okay you take care and please i'll see you tomorrow ciao ciao arrivederci